How's everybody doing today? It's Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Um, promise you guys we got some uh, lighting controls and I want to thank uh, Frank Wooden from CDFNG and KSA for uh, donating the product so we can give a quick demonstration. Uh, there's going to be more to these to come. This is going to be on the uh, N-Line system that utilizes a uh, Cat5e cable for power and a uh, power pack uh, connected to your line voltage. Uh, there are newer products out there. I just wanted to start from a little bit of the older products, but it's a little bit more simpler. And you do see this on a uh, spec on a lot of different jobs. Uh, people like using it. It's it's became more popular since I did 2015 or 2016. So let's get started. Uh, we have a couple products in front of us. We have the low voltage push button wall pod. And this is um, on and off feature with raise and lower for lighting. And this is the NPODDM DX WH, which is watt white. Low voltage push button wah pod. And these actually operate, I believe I have 15 volts DC. Yeah. So if you could see that, 15 volts DC. So this is not bad. And behind this switch itself, let me unplug this. This is a Cat6 cable. You can notice that there are no line voltage screws, nothing in here. It's basically an in and an out with a cat 5 e jack for um, RJ45 jack inside. So I'm going to plug this back in. We have the NPP16D occupancy control dimming power pack power relay pack. I can show you the box on this one. NPP16D EFP. Um, I'm sorry, wrong one. <laughs> This is the NCB PDT-9 RJB. This is the AX sensor. I apologize. Uh, passive Dewar technology. So this is uh, the, the sound waves. It picks up the sound waves and uh, light levels too. So you could use this as a photo cell. Uh, small motion standard, uh, 360 degree range. This is the one you normally would would mount up to like 12 feet high probably no more than that then you got to go with the higher like a high bay one uh this one is a little bit different than the wall the wall pod connection as it already has a pre-cut cat 5e cable at the end and uh ksa gave me the, the like the three-way jack for this for you can daisy chain devices together but essentially this is all you have in here uh, I won't go into too much detail on this, but these are all programmable. They all have code. You could set uh, certain situations on there. Right now, I just have it for the uh, passive dual technology and at times the light off after 30 seconds, I believe. So if you guys were curious about that, it's not very hard. You can look this up. It come, they come with the package as well, uh, how to put the codes in. Each device has a push button. You do, uh, it's like um, two times and then you punch the number of times for the code and then another one is another code that relates to a specific function. So that's it's pretty neat. So I'm gonna put this back on really quick. And here is the brains, what I call it. It's the power pack. So. For demonstration purposes, I got this hooked up to like a residential light. It's a, it, it, normally, you, you put this to a 1900 box, but obviously, look at the size of this thing. It's not a 1900 box. Um, so basically, your power pack is going to have your line voltage, all your dimming wires. And then out of this, you're going to have two Cat5 V jacks in the back. Um, right now, I'm just utilizing uh, Cat6 cable. It, 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 you know, it works just fine. So one's going back to the switch, the other one is going to the aux sensor. And just briefly, really quick, um, you can see what I did. Uh, I actually daisy changed these. I was trying to see if I can get zero to 10 volt dimming. It, it doesn't do nothing. It's uh, So this is like your switch leg. This goes right to your light. 
um, these two wires are zero volt dimming. Like I said, they don't do nothing. So I was trying to mess around with this and try to get it to work. I can't. I don't have a zero to ten volt dimming fixture. Um, here's your neutral wire, your grounds, and then you got your actually your hots. So one is your hot from my SO cord I got in here, one hot from the fixture itself, and then they actually have a fused uh, coming from off the power pack as well. So there's a fuse in here. I think it's a, I don't know if it's a, yeah, it's a 20 amp, or it might be a 30 amp fuse in here. So this is how you wire it up. It, it, it's not very hard. Um, I got these push-in wire connectors. It's pretty quick. They actually work with stranded and solid wire, so they're pretty neat. Um, so I'm going to turn this on really quick and show you how it actually works. It's pretty neat. Let me turn this a little bit, lock it in place. Uh, I got to make sure this is all set to the side because if it sees me, then it's going to keep turning. It won't turn off. So let me make sure everything is okay. Let me plug this in really quick. All right, so you're gonna see it's flashing a little bit. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, so the ax sensor itself, um, I don't know why it's flashing. There might be uh, maybe a little short in the connection. This is just a setup I got. I'm not sure, I wasn't doing it before. Um, so if I step away, the ox sensor is going to stay on right now. It's going to keep it off. If I click this back on, the ox sensor should pick this up. So I'm going to walk away and I'm going to see if it turns off after 30 seconds. All right, so I click back on, and then I walk back up to it. It went back on again. Um, like I said, I don't know why. It might have a bad connection in here, or the light may be going out. It's an old fixture, but yeah, it's a pretty simple low voltage. Go into the uh, the power pack. You got these daisy chains. If you got multiple devices, you could put a lot of these ox sensors all together. Um, really neat, and. Um, uh, price wise always contact your manufacturer they're always uh, prices are changing especially right now but I uh, wanted to thank everybody for the demonstration I'm hoping to get some more advanced uh, lighting controls I want to do the um, uh, Lutron controls and I want to try to start doing some Crestron controls those get really uh, complicated especially if you're trying to estimate jobs and you don't know how to put this together pretty good demonstration of how this works and uh yeah thanks for watching and we'll uh, talk again